Okay, hey guys, this is Sean again. Uh, BW Fusion team. I am going to this time talk about the Case IH Pro 700 display. Well, this would be common in all the flagship uh, case combines, uh, probably as early as like say uh, some 8010s would have had them, but the 8120s up to you know to the to the 91 series, and now you're looking at uh, you know. 8350s and 8240s and that sort of stuff so any of your guys with a and even some of the 7000 series so uh, any of your guys running red combines this is going to be pretty similar uh, also in a new holland combine newer new holland combines would have the same terminal they call it an intelliview display whereas case calls it the pro 700 but the process is exactly the same uh, today because most of the combines in the neighborhood are running and I'm not going to stop and ask a customer if I can shut off his machine to pull his data. Uh, I'm going to do it in a in a New Holland sprayer uh, with a Pro 700 or an Intelliview 4 display. Uh, but the process is I, exactly the same no matter how you do it. Uh, basically, you just climb up in the piece of equipment and the stick is over here on the left side. With the monitor powered down. On this one, you do not want to pull this stick if the monitor is powered up, so the monitor needs to be shut down completely. Simply pull it out. Now, in this case, because of the way we're doing this, what I always recommend is go straight to your computer. You know, take the computer up in the cab with you and insert the stick. It's going to pop up. You know, we'll go to our we'll go to our file button. Obviously, you guys know how to do this sort of stuff and go to USB drive, and you're gonna have this. It's gonna be a .cn1 folder. There's gonna be uh, numbers. Those generally uh, coincide with a date uh, of the time that the uh, that the, the file was started, uh, but I'm just gonna take it, and this one, uh, this is actually one that the, the sprayer hasn't been ran for a while, so I pulled this data on like 921. Uh, what I recommend doing is just simply click on it, right click, copy that and then take it over here and you can and you could paste it anywhere you want to put it if you want to start a start a file structure of data or whatever but i'm just going to quick copy it to the desktop over here uh, we need the entire folder to go um, when that's done you know that's interesting he's had a bird fly in the cab with me uh, when that's done just like when you're copying anything else pop the stick back out and put it back in the display there's a lot of different ways to, to manage that if we had booted the monitor we don't want to have more than one cn1 folder on any stick at any time uh you know if, if this was somebody that you were working with you know and, and they wanted you to, to manage all of their data for them then then yeah we could take and we could clear that stick off and stick it back in so they start afresh but since this monitor is not being powered and because we're not necessarily in the data management business for our customers uh, I would just copy all of it off, stick that back in there. Uh, we'll run that data through and we'll find the fields that we need. So that's a Pro 700 display. Uh, what I plan tend to do after we do all these is compile one video of how to, you know, export and ship that data, you know, emails and, and doing that sort of stuff. So we'll cover that in another video. But that's simply the process of uh, pulling data off of a Case IH Pro 700 or a New Holland Intelliview 4. Thanks.